Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And we are back reacting to more Game of Thrones. We're watching episode four today of season four. I'm expecting some big things to happen this one. We've had three episodes. I mean, every single one's been a heavy hitter. Everything seems to be nowadays, but things have been building. News have been being made. Particularly the stories, the main two stories is the one happening in King's Landing and yeah. the one happening with... Daenerys. In Essos, yeah. Those are the two stories that are... And, and you know what? Even at Jon Snow in there, they're making some moves. So all those three stories have been bit by bit building up. I'm expecting this one crunch time. I just got that feeling. Episode four crunch time. A crunch time of sorts. Okay. We have seen... I think it was last season was when Danny like... Yeah, she burnt the slave traders with the dragon and then took over Yunkai in the, towards the end. So, you know, we, we like in Astapor... So we've seen moves being made in some episode fours, and I've just got the feeling that this one, it's about that time, but... Okay, I mean, I do hope so. Well, I do and I don't, only because crunch time means for Tyrion. Do you know what I mean? Like That will have a bit more time in it. Yeah, but he's got his trial, and I'm very nervous for him, because who knows which way it's going to go. I mean, Tywin doesn't really care about Tyrion. He has someone on the council that will follow what he says so whatever decision he makes and i can see him being swayed by cersei to some degree anyways a yeah, little bit Tywin? very Just, little very little he cares for her more than Tyrion. he Tyr actually sees her as oh her do i don't daughter. even yeah i don't even think that's him getting swayed by her i think that he's wanted Tyrion out of his sight yeah and this is a potential opportunity now will tyron fully commit to it does he really completely want to get rid of his son mm -hmm. i'm i'm not sure how committed tyron is yeah despite his feelings but I well, guess we'll find out. I hope for Tyrion's sake is he's not fully committed. We've also got Prince Oberyn on the council. It's a very interesting one. Yeah. I feel like he's here to shake things up a bit. I feel like there's going to be a lot more to him than meets the eye. I do like his character. He doesn't seem like someone who's so easily willing to forget mm. or forgive. So I'm waiting to see what his trump card. We know he came for a purpose. In Game of Thrones, everyone's got a purpose. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be something big happening. Oh, I've just got a feeling about that. Yeah. Well, in the background, we've got Bran with his vision, right? So there's going to be lots of things that are going to be happening sooner rather than later, I think. I mean, we're going to get to see the White Walkers soon, I think. Like, I, I just feel like that storyline has been brewing since season one. First episode of season one. I feel like that's going to be like a season six kind of focus okay. point. I feel like this will, we still got a lot to do before we get that in the focus point, but it'll build up. Now, I want to mention from last episode. I think I know what you're going to mention. Yes. What I was going to mention, and of course, you beat me to it. Our boy, Jamie. Since you have given, given no pauses in your speech for me to speak. <laughs> Our boy, Jamie. Which we both kind of saw. We'll explain in a sec. We both kind of saw that, but then by the end of the scene, we were a bit confused. But you can explain. Well, our moderator is really helpful in clearing it up. And so are a bunch of people in the comments as well. Now, it appeared to us in the scene that Jamie was forcing himself onto Cersei, which our mods have cleared up that was sort of a poor representation in the show where in the books doesn't actually go, go that way. It's more their inner thoughts between Jamie and Cersei that are being spoken about. And in the end, Cersei is, it's clear that Cersei sort of consents. So, Story writing wise, that doesn't take away from Jamie as a character in terms of the development mm -hmm. that we'd seen him have with Brienne. We had that cleared up because, yeah, that scene sort of. Yeah. I was just feeling like, oh, damn, they, that, whenever they build Jamie up, they sort of bring him down. But because, same with another scene where he'd killed his cousin, I believe there was something a bit different with the way that went in the books. I don't remember exactly, but there was another scene that also in the show ruined character development that didn't happen in the books. So that inconsistency, I'm just learning to read between it because we really like Jamie's character and how he's evolving. Well, he made it to my love list. And to see that scene with him and Cersei portrayed in that way, I was like, oh, no, you just made it to my love list and you just did that. Like, that was very conflicting for me. But, yeah, like, I do see the way it was meant to be portrayed and it wasn't done like amazingly but i do see in hindsight what they were trying to do but in general doing that where your dead son is let's be fair that's a bit freaky like that's that's like a very acquired taste isn't it yeah the, the, the whole scene <laughs> the whole scene was very, very game of thrones like oh yeah this episode i am interested based on the preview of this episode i'm getting the feeling that 
we're going to see a bit more from Danny. Mm. I'm hoping, I, I've been actually really invested in her story lately, which for me is unique because I generally tend to invest more in male protagonists than female protagonists. I just relate to them more. But she's a badass. But she has been gradually, continuously winning me over, getting me more and more interested. And it's probably one of the stories I'm just, whenever she comes in, I'm like, all right, what's next? Especially after yeah. last episode where just the way she played that whole almost like confrontation with, I don't remember what the place called. Marine. With Marine. And just the way that all went out, she's become such a leader. So, so different in four seasons to what she was. I know. It's like, oh, I'm very excited for that. Do you remember the first scene with her? It was her and Viserys. And Viser she was just standing there as Viserys was undressing her. Yeah. Cut to now, she is on a whole other level and I'm loving it. Yeah, yeah. She got a massive army of Unsullied. I mean, it's it's happening. And we also have Jon Snow, who mm. he's not playing games anymore. Man's taking charge. He was saying they have to go kill Carl and anyone else who is staying at Craister's place because of you know, the fear that they will speak to the Wildlings and reveal how little people they actually have at the Night's nice Watch. I mean, Jon Snow just going, we're gonna we're gonna kill them, get job done. Like he's starting to think a lot more like a leader now, not just like a idealist. The beginning he was a very nice guy. He wanted to try and do the right thing. So it's just interesting. Everyone's making moves. All these characters, yeah. I can just see the next phase in the Game of Thrones story happening where everyone is really starting to make moves, grow into their full potential, if you will. And, and mm -hmm. they're becoming like, you know, warriors and leaders in their own right. Yeah. I do want to mention off Jon Snow, I, I, I don't know. I keep thinking, I remember recently, we still got nothing about his uncle. Uh, and I'm just not sure whether yeah. we're meant to just assume he's dead and forget it, kind of like the... Serio, or whether we're meant to, whether that might be something that comes into play again. I don't know where we sit with that. Yeah, because that, I don't know, every time you hear that horn of like, you know, Rangers are back, you're like, oh, it's his uncle. And it just never is. So, yeah, I wonder. I reckon we might see him as a white. I reckon that's what they're waiting for, probably. Yeah. Oh, oh that's what I was thinking. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Do you reckon you'd be able to recognize him? For sure. That'd probably, make it... probably not, but that'd make the scene. <laughs> Yeah, damn. And then we've also got Arya with the Hound. Honestly, that duo is pretty good. Like, you see Arya becoming more like the Hound in general. I mean, I think the first couple episodes, it was always Arya. Do you remember when Robert came, King Robert, and the family of Starks were lining up and Arya was, like, getting told off she wasn't standing properly, things like that? Yeah. She always had that in her, but because she was part of a noble family... She could never act like that. And now the Hound is just like... I think he's good for her. He'll, yeah. let, her, he'll let her bring her in our warrior out. Yeah. Interesting duo. And we still are no closer to finding anything about Jon Snow's mother, but I feel like that's something that yeah. will still come out eventually. I hope so. There's Because there's a lot of little Easter egg, like, mysteries thrown in and then forgotten about for a while. So I do like when we come full circle. I mean, especially like with Varys. I mean, we haven't seen much of him this season, have we? Not, not compared to nah, not compared to a lot of others. Yeah. But with Varys, like we found out, you know, initially he got his balls chopped off. And then a couple seasons later, we actually found out why, from who, and he got his revenge. Yeah. The big thing from last episode, little finger, little finger, little finger, little finger. What's he going to do with Sansa? I don't get it. Does he want to like marry? I honestly thought he was on his way to Liza. Did he go, come back? Who knows? Be interesting. He's definitely ahead of the game. Very interesting character. Really hard to predict his moves. And his goal is ultimate power. I don't see him as someone who could, who would sit the throne. Mm -mm. But I think his position suits someone who manipulates who's on the throne, how he's played, you know. And I don't know how much Tywin's onto him. I think Tywin knows he's tricky, but I don't think even Tywin properly knows what little thing's capable of, which is interesting. I wonder how it's all going to go down because Sansa is important in Cersei's eyes, right? That was, as like, her dead son is there and she's saying, where is Sansa, like, screaming for her? So I feel like she'll be one to figure it out. Who knows? Littlefinger might even be so bold to, like, just go up to them and say, you know, I've got her. <laughs> yeah, well, there's a lot of story points to see, you know, the next few episodes, see how everything plays out. Thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. Your support helps the channel out a lot. If you are interested in supporting us over on Patreon, check out the link in the description. We do have early access to upcoming reactions as well as uncut reactions. And for everyone over on YouTube, if you enjoyed today's reaction, remember to leave a like, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this episode. All right, let's go.
Now, this episode is called Oathbreaker. And, oh no, Oathkeeper. Yeah, so, so, so I'm not going to be Rob in this episode. <laughs> I feel like it's going to be Jamie because there's so much talk about him. True. You know, being an Oathbreaker. Will he almost be contrasting Rob a little bit? Mm. Rest in peace, Rob. <sighs> when did they take me? I was five years old. Wow. Shit, five. I think he connects with that too. Yeah. Always unsullied. Mm. Before unsullied, nothing. That's not true. You can see the pain in his eyes as well. Kill the masters. Kill the masters. Very angry. Yeah, and that's big for Unsullied because they're taught to just feel nothing, question nothing. The Sunday is teacher good, my queen. <laughs> <laughs> it's time. For what? To free them or? Are we going to make a big move? I'm ready for it. So those two are really connecting. Yeah. I can see a romance between them. Oh no, wait, that's Grey Worm, isn't it? Are they sneaking in? Yeah, it is. Wow. Wow, what a mission. They're going to infiltrate from the inside. One day how they knew about this, the tunnels. Ivan Kiofa. Well, it's not really living though, is it? Well, I'm a ghoulis. Well, I'm a ghoulis. Meritovie ji derive samovita hime glezor es po bilma. 100%. Sir os vilivan deniris zi. Jimisa es po zaldrizes. Mother of dragons. Jimisa es po bilma. And breaker of chains. Tash ke min shish. Yam tol fol jeni. Tol kem. They came prepared. They're going to give you a fighting chance for once in your life. Oh, dude, Danny's playing him well. Oh, yeah. And Grey Worm looked sick just in that scene. Oh. Kill the masters. Oh, gosh. Who's hanging? I'm waiting for it. Flag. Sigil. Danny's one. Oh, and his, his guards left. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh. Bye bye. Just like that. Holy shit, dude. I was waiting for some epic battle and she just <laughs> wiped them like that. <laughs> it is like overwhelming. Like I always get emotional with these scenes. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Are they all the masters? Remind me, Sir Jora, how many children did the great masters nail to mileposts? 163. Oh, no way. Are they going to nail all of them? Holy shit, dude. Oh, my God. Dude, they nailed children. That's horrendous. Sometimes it is better to answer injustice with mercy. I will answer injustice with justice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how Danny is. And you can't question her. Damn, dude. Oh, didn't like it now, huh? Oh, look at all of them, dude. Holy crap. I deserve it, dude. They did it to children. Little girls. Danny's a savage. When you, if you do wrong by her, it's game over. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, That's look scene. at that view. Yeah. Holy crap, dude. Well, yet another place for Danny. She's, she's almost got her own king's landing. She should just settle. I know. He's doing all right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. His weakness. Bronze funny. He doesn't pull any punches. Knocking your ass to the dirt with your own hand. <laughs> You 
to fight like a good little boy. You want to fight pretty or you want to win? True. I really like Brighton. He's good. Same. Do you think you did it? Nah. And poison's not his style. Or murder, for that matter. He's a good man, Tyrion. Jamie will be his one good alibi. Well, I'm hoping so. You know Cersei has him wrapped around her little finger. Your brother ever tell you how I came into his service? You were his first choice. He named you for his champion because he knew you would ride day and night to come fight for him. Go, yes. Brock. Get Jamie back. You're going to fight for Oak him Keeper. now. Are you going to fight for him now, please? Come on, Jamie. Come on, oh. brother. Abby Clutch. Sorry I didn't come sooner. It's complicated. Very complicated. Her son died in her arms. Her son? <laughs> Go, Tyrion. I know. The whole bloody country thinks I'm guilty. I don't. I don't think that. Did you do it? The Kingslayer brothers. You like it? I like it. True. I love Tyrion. It's such a troll. He's so good. Are you asking if I killed your son? Are you really asking if I'd kill my brother? Ah, oh, love it. Love that. That's clean. How can I help you? Oh. <laughs> She's offering a knighthood to whomever finds Sansa Stark. Damn, I knew it. Dude. Do you think it's a coincidence she disappeared the same night Joffrey died? No, but Sansa's not a killer. Good job, Tyrion. He knows not people who can read them well. Not Ooh, yet. What? I wonder if that's foreshadowing a future. Oof. I can see that she's going to be put in a position that she has to eventually. Yeah. I'm getting married to your Aunt Lysa. She's waiting for us at the Eyrie. You'll be safe there. He keeps saying that line. He's got that creepy smile. I know. He wasn't involved in Joffrey's death. But you were. Do you remember that lovely necklace Stantus gave you? No way. A man with no motive is a man no one suspects. Oh, this guy. He is interesting. So he was in her necklace. Holy crap. They'll put your head on a spike just like my father's. You'd risk that just to confuse them. Also a very good point. They spend their lives avoiding danger. Then they die. I'd risk everything to get what I want. Which is what, Sansa? Maybe that's why he'll be successful. <laughs> a vicious boy with a crown on his head is not a reliable ally. Who could trust a friend like that? Who could trust you? <laughs> exactly. That's what I was thinking. As for what happened to Joffrey, well, that was something my new friends wanted very badly. New friends? There's yeah. new allies. To make a new oh. friendship go strong. Interesting. Oh. That makes sense. Oh. That makes so much sense. So I don't reckon Marjorie knows, but Elena's probably been behind her. Have you been to see Tommen yet? No. The new king. But the moment I saw my intended, I knew he wouldn't do. <laughs> <laughs> I got lost on my way back from my embroidery lesson and... Yeah, lost. She's very smart. The following morning... Luther never made it down the stairs to propose to my sister because the boy couldn't bloody walk. <laughs> and once he could, the only thing he wanted was what I'd given him the night before. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh Lena, Lena. Jesus. Luckily for you, the Queen Regent is rather distracted at the moment, mourning her dear departed boy. Yeah, not that distracted. I could have done, but he didn't. You don't know, Grandmother. But I do know. Oh, she knows. You don't think I'd let you marry that beast, do you? Oh, 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 oh. a a weapon, dude. <laughs> you just do what needs to be done. Oh my goodness. You do realize, and I had a feeling, you know when she had that spat with Tywin and yeah. then he won? Yeah. In effect, she wanted him to win over her. She played that game because she had already planned to kill Joffrey. So the whole ruse behind Do how much going to get... that's when it happened? She already planned it before that, I guarantee. Yeah. Because the whole ruse between who's going to spend how much on the wedding, 
what's going to be done. Mm. Maybe that was just to clear her name. Maybe that was to also waste some of the Lannisters' resources because yeah. they have more. It could have been a multiple shooter of things. Yeah. She knew the Lannisters owe big debts as well. So mm -hmm. I think she was just screwing with them. But she made Tyrion think he'd won and she'd already organised for Joffrey to be killed. Oh, so Elena did win. I was correct. Okay, so... <laughs> I guess going back to last episode then, I was yeah. kind of correct, but still the bigger piece of the puzzle is it seems so far Elena was at the top. So we got the Shit. small pieces, but... Well, in my prediction too, I don't know if you've done it too, but I had yeah. two roles. Yeah. We knew they were somehow involved, they had an agenda. I just, yeah, them working with Littlefinger was very interesting. Mm. I really like that. Interesting. It's funny because the way they play Littlefinger scene is so mysterious and eerie and creepy. Yeah. And then you go to Elena and she's just so casual about it. She's like, oh, you know, I did what I had to do. <laughs> yeah, no, Elena's a beast. She's quickly becoming a force to be reckoned with. Oh, yeah, for sure. First thing you want to do is disarm them to try and even the odds. Who knew he'd be training everyone? Go John, dude. Respect. <laughs> 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 John's a weapon. I know. Take it slow. Try and disarm each other. Oh, that little snake. The one that cut off Jamie's hand. Oh, yeah. Why is he at the night's watch now? <laughs> oh, this guy's just brutal. He's the one that cut off Jamie's hand, yeah? But why is he here? What do you think you're doing? Friends are angel. You're a steward. Maybe you forgot that while you were off with your wildling bitch. Calm down, mate, okay? Go find a chamber pot to empty. He's such a snake. Even if it helps the survival of your own life. Give me an excuse. Norman's not here to protect you now. Oh. Keep your cool, John. Keep your cool. I can't wait till John wrecks him one day. He'll man. have his day. Don't you worry. The bastard's well liked. You're not. Mm-hmm, exactly. Can't be acting commander forever. There will be a choosing. <laughs> True. Let the mutineers take care of Snow. He'll take care of them, okay? I'd love if Snow was ordering him around. It'd be great. It's going to happen, for sure. John is going to be I don't know, man. In this world, <laughs> I've been robbed twice. Maybe third time's a charm, I don't know. Please be poison, please be poison. <laughs> Not anytime soon. I promise you, someone's safe. We're protecting him. The way you protected Joffrey. Oi, stop it. Why did Catelyn Stark set you free? What? I've been wondering for months. Oh my gosh, she's gonna try and blame him. You know why? She'd hoped I'd send her daughters back to her. So she's staying in line in this conversation, okay? She hoped, or did you promise? I swore by all the gods that if her daughters were alive, I'd return them to her. So you made a sacred vow to the enemy. I wanted to get back to you. That was your mistake. If I told you to find that murderous little bitch and bring me her head, would you do it? No, Jamie, you won't. He won't. I know he's you won't Tyrion. Yeah, his brother. Creature who murdered our son. Creature. Look at the word she's using. He didn't do it, Cersei. Tell her. That will be all, Lord Commander. Dude, see, sever your feelings for this snake. Oh, Jamie, you deserve so much better. What are you doing? <sighs> Alright, he's not stupid. I believe he'll work it out. Word has it, I'm to be your bride. He likes what he sees. He's very young, though. I'd feel so weird if I was Marjorie right now. If we're going to be man and wife, we'll have a few secrets from her, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he's so different to Joffrey, that absolute snake. I know. Joffrey didn't like him. He threatened to skin him alive and mix his innards up in my food so I wouldn't know I was eating him. Oh, my goodness. And after the ceremony, this is when we marry, work. I become yours forever. Dude, this boy's hit the jackpot. He's Hello. loving it. <laughs> May I come and visit you again? 
She's so good at playing so many different people, isn't she? She is. She is. She's manipulative, but she's also genuinely nice so far. So I'm happy that she's with Tommen. It's almost like got him in a trance. I was going to say too soon for I think she te teased him like what, what he, could, he could get. And then next time. Well, if he hadn't discovered puberty before, he's discovered it now. <laughs> he looks like 10 or 9 oh, man, or something. I'm like glad he's not Joffrey. Yeah. I only wish Joffrey was like his spirit had to watch and he just couldn't do anything <laughs> and watch all his failures. Valyrian steel. It's yours. I can't accept it. Must be forged from that dark soul. You use it to defend that Stark's daughter. Oh, dude, he's so good. To return the Stark goes to their mother, Lady Stark's dad. Arya's probably dead too, but there's still a chance <sighs> to find Sansa and get her somewhere safe. She's not dead. Jamie's so good, man. Respect. <laughs> that, man? I love you, Jamie. <laughs> nice new set of armor. I love these two. Isn't it funny? She hated him now. For Lady Catelyn. And for you. I was hoping she would say it. You'll be keeping him from harm. The chivalry. I won't slow you down, sir. <laughs> Milady. <laughs> Brienne's face. They say the best source of names. Any ideas? Surely. Oathkeeper. Oathkeeper! Okay. Nice. I like that. I like that. Oh. <laughs> and that means a lot to him, you can tell. This is the nice moment I wanted for Jamie. Goodbye, Brian. Oh, Brian. Oh, I hope it's not goodbye for long because... I hope they meet again, man. Oh. That was such a nice scene. After everything they've been through. <sighs> I hope you realise what you're saying goodbye to, Jamie. I won't order anyone to go with you. Volunteers only. Okay. Look at them eating like pigs. He's going to get all of them to go with him. Watch. Hopefully. I'm asking for volunteers to come with me. If Mance learns what they know, we're lost. Give yourself a fighting chance. If the Night's Watch are truly brothers, then Lord Commander Mormont was our father. Oh. Respect, I like that line. And he was betrayed by his own men, stabbed in the back by cowards. He deserved far better. Much better. Oh, I'd rally behind Who that. Who will join me? Me. <laughs> Come on! I knew he'd Loyal be the friend, best. Yeah, and I'm thinking Locke will be up there soon. Ah, oh, you didn't think that would happen, did ya? Well, he thought no one would go with him. A oh, man, respect. I can't let a recruit come north of the wall. If it's a fight you're heading for, then you need men who know how. Yeah, I just don't trust him, do I? Nah. I do. I don't. Because he didn't like Jamie, but he was loyal to Bolton's orders and loyal to the North's regime. Yeah, I don't know. Bolton was a snake there, so I don't know. Drinking wine from the skull of Gior. Oh my oh god, my. dude. He's lost his marbles. This guy's cool. What are you doing to my man? And look at the girls, dude. They're beaten. Oh my god. Holy shit, man. They've become animals. This guy's full on, huh? What's happened to him, dude? What the hell? I was a f legend, Jinari. I would take any night. Any night, any time. Jesus so Christ. Angry. This guy is way different to I remember him. Preston's last child. A boy. Oh my god. He offered them. To who? To the gods. The White Walkers. Let's give the walkers what they want. I don't know, man. Wow, this guy has become dark as. Oh, that poor baby. That poor, poor baby, man. 
What is that noise, dude? That does not sound inviting. Oh, oh is that John's? They catch it. That's what they mean by feed the beast. It's John's direwolf. One of the last of them. You thirsty? Yeah, he's a snake too. He deserves to get killed. What are you doing? Doesn't have any power inside, so he tries to use it out here. Yeah. Fuck! Hmm. Exactly. And that's what you coward. get. Oh. Oh, I was like, he's going to get what he's due. The crows are here. Holy shit. Uh, hold up. Oh, they're so close. Wow, so they can hear the baby. Holy shit. I'm going out there. No, we need to stay together. I'm going. Oh, this is so weird. Shit, he's now in the die wolf again. In summer, it's the only two that we've seen left. I mean, Ari has to run off somewhere, but Brands and Johns. He can hear can ghosts. Free the other wolf as well. What happened? It's summer, he's hurt. They've caught him in a trap. Who? Oh, I didn't see, but they have my brother's wolf. Damn. They can't lose both of the wolves, dude. No. If I'm not back soon, we'll meet a- <gasps> Hold on. Oh, no, 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 not hurt all. Well, John will get to rescue Bran too. I hope so. Oh, leave her door alone. Oh, they've chained him up. Hold on, hold on. Jesus, man. Oh, hold Oh, my heart breaks, man. Jojen looks ill. Yeah. Who are you? Don't answer him, Bran. <laughs> that little smirk. You see where I come from? Coming like me, slaps a little lord like you. I'd lose me right hand. Oh, I hope he loses it. I bought an hostage. That's valuable. Three of them. That's a lot of mouths to feed. <gasps> what the yeah, you're right. He did look like he was. Who are you? A Brandon Stark! Oh no. Jon Snow's gonna wreck them both, dude. I can't wait. Damn it. Can't wait till Jon comes and wrecks them, man. I'm so pumped. I know. For that. I just want oh, it to happen like now. I'm fully behind Jon on that. It's a White Walker. They look so creepy, and so do their horses. So they oh. got the baby in the end. Oh, imagine seeing that from a baby's perspective. Oh. We're going to get to find out what they do with them at last. Wow, that is beautiful. Mind you, the northern lights a little bit. Oh, do we really want to see what they're going to do with the baby? Oh, poor baby. He offered it to someone superior. It looked like someone superior was coming. Why is it bleeding? <gasps> That's how they create White Walkers. Wow. It looked like as well, like they almost had their own council. So they're a lot more yeah. they're a lot more intelligent than we've given them credit for thus far. Because even the ones that we've primarily seen, they're more like soldiers or warriors. Different ones oh, had almost like spiky heads. Yeah. And they were more white, less blue. They seem to be like almost, I don't know, the higher ups or something, but And they had like a full uniform. Damn, yeah. So all he did was touch it and its eyes like crystallized, like turned blue. Like that was weird. I'm just, I feel like shaking everyone at King's Landing being like, wake up. I know. There's so much more at stake. Like there's this very real enemy and you're all fighting on trivial things. Like, oh man. 
Oh, we need Danny to come in clutch and sort this crap out. But it feels we? like there's the whole of Game of Thrones and then the White Walkers feel like they're almost from another show in a yeah. way. They're so like out there still and I'm just waiting for them eventually. When they meet whoever is around to fight them at that time, it's going to be so surreal. Like, holy shit, they're actually, the worlds have collided now. Damn. Oh, I, yeah. It's so crazy that we've been told since the first episode about White Walkers. Like, we were introduced to them the first episode, and now we're season four, episode four, and we're still just, you know, we're on the cusp of even learning even a tiny bit of them. I couldn't drop free and been fed to the White Walkers, but not not turn to one, just them like yeah. maul, maul his body. Oh. Or even give him to Carl or something. Just give him somewhere where he's just going to get abused. That's what I was waiting for for Joffrey, you know? That would be great. God damn it. It was interesting to see a lot of Jamie's interactions this episode. They were really good. I, really well done. Yeah, I really loved his interaction with Brienne. That was one of my favorite. Like, I literally got emotional. Just... It was kind of like putting a bow on their little journey together. Well, their big journey together. To give her a Valerian steel sword. That was... oh. And he even paid homage a little bit. Like, Oathkeeper really fits the, the episode and him. Because despite his indifference with Ned Stark, he chose to do right by the daughters, by the oath that he'd made. You know, so it's funny because they always call him Oathbreaker. And because he killed the king, but he kept his oath to protect, protect the people. realm. Exactly. So in, in, in some light, he's one of the most oath-keeping people out there. Yeah. And in hindsight, when he was in that cage talking to Catelyn, saying, well, you know, who is more honourable, Ned, who like went and broke his vows, like his wedding vows yep. and whatnot. Or me, who protected the whole realm, or tried to anyways. Yeah, he's spot on. I like Jamie. I feel like last episode didn't do him justice, and this one really mm. just furthered that character development that yeah. we experienced in his journey with Brienne that we love so much. I loved his interaction with Tyrion as well. Like, you really got to see the uni the brothers unite and really see each other for who they are, which I loved. But then on the flip side, you see his interaction with Cersei, and she just, I don't know, man. Like, she's just a little shit, isn't she? She actually gets worse and worse. When she you think does. she can't, she gets worse. Firstly, he's protecting his brother, obviously. He loves you. You're his sister. That's, like, a different thing, though. But he's allowed to love his brother. And then he's allowed to, I get, from Cersei's perspective, the enemy. Like, you promised the enemy this and that. But you weren't in his position. And she's never spent a moment... While she's been here playing games and he's been suffering, yeah, she's done nothing but ridicule him. So nah, honestly, I can't wait for him. I hope he sticks it up her and he yeah. just tells her to get fucked. I'm I'm ready for it. Well, I read a comment that she was turned off by him because of his hand, like his impairment, uh -huh. and that's why that first interaction they had together, like she wasn't wanting to do anything with him. That's what I read. I don't know if that's like correct or not, but. Yeah, so even even if that is true, that's, like, horrendous from her. He did so much to get back to you, and you just tossed him aside to the bin. Yeah. And then when you want him to kill people for you, you don't hesitate. Disgusting. Yeah, no, nah, as soon as he's become his own man now, which I love it. Wasn't expecting Danny's arc to be completed so quickly, at least this part of it. Given how big and long and drawn out the battle against Astapor and Yunkai were... And this one was meant to be the biggest of them all. I was a little bit yeah. surprised and a bit underwhelmed, to be honest, that she just, the slave stuck in and boom, she won it. I'm anticipating there'll be more to come. Something will be to come. But yeah, like it was awesome to see her achieve so much power, but it, a bit underwhelming. I was looking forward to just seeing her dominate the biggest challenge yet. You know, the strategy was great getting in, in from the indoors, but we just didn't really, just sort of happen. Next day it was all done. It's like, oh. Yeah. So, you know what I think it is? I think it's, just trying to show how powerful she has actually become. Like, she can take down one of the biggest slave trader cities in ASOS just like that. I mean, she did put a lot of work in, but... All behind the scenes. Yeah, all behind the scenes. So, interesting. I'm, I'm still curious to see where that is, how it's going to evolve for the rest of the season, because that wrapped up quick. There must yeah. be more there. But it's interesting to see Sir Barris and Salmi and Jorah. That, like, there's lots of things that they're not really agreeing with the way she's doing things as well. Once she speaks up, they are they're like, okay, that's fine. Like, do what you're gonna do. But they try to interject quite a bit. Yep. And I honestly just, 
I'm most excited for at the moment. Can't wait for Jon Snow yeah. to go and just destroy Carl, destroy what was his other name? Ran. Rant or something. So I don't know. It's forgettable. Know. And then see Bran for the first time. And I hope their direwolves leave because they're all that's left in the direwolves. And I feel like they're just a, an important monumental mm. thing from the Stark's origins. It's something that just makes them unique. Like I can see John and his direwolf being awesome warriors together. I want to see that duo, that combo, you know, I like it. How big is Ghost though? He's grown so much. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait for that arc. Like it's going to be so good. But I also want John to reunite with Igret. That will be a really good interaction, I think, especially the time they've spent apart. I don't know. I've almost... Uh, I want John to become Commander of the Night's Watch. Yeah, same. Quadruple their numbers. Yeah. And then she comes and she will apologize for all her, all her failures. <laughs> and then John may or may not take her in. That's what I want. Otherwise, she's gone. I don't mind her, but I'm on Team John. Like, she should well, not have shot five, three arrows at him. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that. But I, I get, think... I get why she did, but I'm Team John. Mm. But I think he, she was good for him, you know. She really helped him see outside of the box, you know. And that's why I do appreciate her character with Jon Snow. Yeah. Yeah, who knows? They might have. But at the moment, I just can't wait. Jon's rice. Yeah. Hopefully, there's something. Hopefully, we don't get another Rob scenario because there'll be very little left in my heart. But <sighs> hopefully, we get to see one of the Starks, albeit a Snow Stark, actually, you know, achieve something. And we'll see, yeah, you know, some of the others as well, but John's my man for now. Yeah. Well, one of the big things I know we spoke about it was Olena. Yeah, that was that was not too surprising in hindsight now, no. as we've told, but just it's what I wanted and I thought they were maybe not gonna do it that way and just finding out like Elena really is she played Tywin, she played everyone. I know. And it's not easy to play these people. She played Tywin, Cersei, she got little finger onto her side. Little, but little finger, I think, is easy because he'll flip with whoever's winning, right? So as long as you're convincing and you've got the power behind you to do something, he'll be on your side as long as he wins. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. I wonder if... I mean, Elena is a very power-hungry woman, so it seems like she's prepared to do a fair bit, but she doesn't seem cruel or unjust. So I'm wondering if she's okay or what she wants to do about this whole Tyrion situation. Is she okay, happy to let him take the fall? I mean, I guess she yeah. feels like the Lannisters are the enemy, so it's just her house against theirs. Because Tyrion was decent and he was, you know, nice enough to her. Look, I hope not. Be I, I don't see her in that way, but I could be underestimating her. Um, <gasps> Did Elena set up Sansa as well? She was her plan. Remember she was sort of grooming Sansa from the, from the beginning? Finding out about Joffrey from her, taking her in. I mean, she did right by making sure she would, she would be kept safe. But was she the one who had the idea to use Sansa from the beginning. Because that's that's a big play. And I, and I think she was. Little thing, I might have whispered in the air that there's an idea, but at the end of the day, if she's the, the, the pulling the strings, and we're always curious about her perspective, what her infatuation with Sansa was. And she found the perfect scapegoat, I reckon. Oh my God, Elena. That just makes her a whole lot like darker, but wow. Damn it, because she doesn't appear to be that on the surface, you know? Like, she's a really likable character. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Yeah, damn. Wow. There's so much to digest. There's so many things happening at the moment, and each storyline is just, like, on the brink of that chaotic stage. So, yeah, it's getting real juicy again. <laughs> juicy. Juicy. <gasps> Guys, we hope you enjoyed our reaction to this episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, hit that subscribe button so you know when we upload next and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Take care of yourselves and we'll see you guys on the next reaction. See you guys.